Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another tie-in video today, a uh, nymph pattern. This is called the 20 inch stone. Um, you know me, I like tie-in stone flies, all different varieties, so this is something, you know, right up my alley. But the reason we're doing it is because of something new we just started carrying in the shop. And that's peacock curl dyed in different colors. Uh, here you have a red one, black one, a fluorescent green. There's some really cool colors here. And it gives you just a couple different options to tie it in. Um, the one I'm going to tie today is with the fluorescent green. I'll show you one here in a second with the red. Looks really, really cool. Um, it's just cool to experiment with different colors and different things and just play and have fun. So that's what we're going to do with this one. We're just going to mix and match a couple different colors. Make a nice looking pattern. So sit back and relax. Here comes your pattern uh, material list and a couple pictures of the flies. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, you just saw there in the intro, I showed you a couple different color patterns that I tie this in and uh, just change it up. Just try to match the dubbing to the peacock curl and you'll be fine on it. Just try to keep it natural looking is all I really try to do. So let's get into tying it here. On the vise I have a 718 and a size 10 from Firehole. Uh, nice barbless hook, nice wide hook gap which I like. The bead we're using is a black matte tungsten bead from Firehole. This is a 964th or 3.5 millimeter. Matches up with that size 10 real nice. And then the thread we're using is 140 denier black ultra thread. And you can use whatever color you want. The black's going to come out ending up being nice color. It ma matches it naturally. The lead I'm using is .015 or .020 would be fine too. So you, that's what I'm using for lead just to give it a little bit extra weight. And we're going to wrap our thread back to the bend here. And then I'm just going to create a small ball. It doesn't have to be a big one. Just big enough that I'm just going to um, splice my turkey by its open. And I'm just going to put one by it on each side. And the color by it I'm using is um, olive brown, or brown olive I should say. And we're just going to put it on the side and ride it back there to that ball. And then I'm going to put the other one on, on the other side. This is the easiest way to do biots. I tell people all the time, if you want a nice biot look, you have to build that ball up. It splays them like nothing else. And it's very simple. You just put one on at a time, hold it on the side, run it back there to that ball and then we can just cover them up the whole way if you want there and there you can see how nice that splays them right open okay there's no easier way to do biots than that right there so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some uh, gold rib for this I'm using medium oval tinsel French oval tinsel and I'm just going to tie this on and tie it back towards the bend of the hook. Oops, there we go. Just going to tie it and get it right back there to the start of those biots. And then the next thing I'm going to do for this one, we're going to use some fluorescent green strung peacock curl. So it's a bright green. I like the looks of it. And I'm going to use about three pieces. Okay, and I'm just going to pinch them together and I'm going to tie them in by the tip end. And, but I'm going to come back a little bit. Alright, I left a, a lot extra there. And uh, just going to tie that again back to the biots. And then bring it up about, you see there, about two thirds of the way. Then for these, I'm just going to twist them together a little bit. And I'm not going to get real overbearing with twisting them together here. And we're just going to twist them forward, keeping a nice tight wrap here. 
to make a nice round thick even body and just keep bringing it forward until we get up there about that two-third way mark okay and then we're gonna tie it off this is like I said like a prince nymph except with a couple slight changes but it's not hard to tie it just takes a little practice but it's a lot of um, just the things you, you've learned from other other flies so next thing we're gonna do is put the rib on to put the rib on we're gonna go uh, against the wraps the first time we we wrapped away from us this time we're gonna wrap towards us and what that will do is lock down that peacock curl and protect it a little bit so I'm just gonna wrap that off now make a couple nice wraps to tie that off and we'll trim our tag okay now we want to build the wing case Oops. There we go. Let's get that wrapped nice and tight. To build the wing case, we're going to use a turkey feather, okay? You can see how I'm cutting out of the side of the turkey feather here. I'm going to take about six or so fibers off of this turkey feather. Now, I already cut some here to keep the video moving, but... And then I'm going to tie it in by the tip end. You see the tip. I'm going to tie it down oh, about a third of the way up. And I'm going to tie it with the bottom side of the feather facing up in the air. And you can see I, I try to keep it right on the top. Okay. And try to keep it nice and flat. You can glue these if you want to, to make them stay. But if you're careful and you're gentle with it, you can do it this way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the legs. For the legs on this, I'm using a piece of hen pheasant. You can use partridge. Partridge will work just fine. I just like hen pheasant. I use a lot of it. I'm using the saddle area of the pheasant to do this, okay? And I'm just going to pluck one of them feathers out. I'm going to tear the fluff feathers off the side. Here you can see what I did. I tore all the fluffy feathers off of the side. And uh, here's the tip of the feather. So I'm going to grab the tips and then I'm going to stroke the fibers of the feather back. And this is going to make my legs right here, okay? So this tip, I'm going to tie in up here towards that bead. And I'm going to tie this down right on top of that turkey wing. Try to keep it in the center. And tie it down good. Now, last thing I'm going to do, those are going to become the legs of my fly. Last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of dubbing for the thorax here. For the dubbing... I like to use SLF Squirrel Dub for just about everything. So this is, I'm using the uh, Red Squirrel Nymph Thorax. Um, use whatever color matches kind of close. You know, whatever you like. Just try to keep it natural. That's what I'm after with this is a natural color. And we're just going to put this dubbing on here. And it's going to be buggy. That's why I like the SLF Squirrel. And then we're just going to dub this on here. Covering the whole way back to our peacock. Come back up here. I want to add just a hair more to get me in behind that bead there. Once I get it wrapped in there, all nice and even, we're going to pull our legs up over. So I like that. That's pretty even looking. Now we're just going to take this stem. I'm going to pull it up over and I'm going to pull these fibers back to make my legs. Okay, and then we're going to hold this on top. And I'm just going to cinch it down right there behind that bead. And we'll trim off this tag. Oops. And then we're going to separate the legs out here, okay? You can see how I'm going right down over the back, separating the legs. And then we're going to pull our turkey up over in between there. Keep that turkey nice and wide, like you see there. And I'm just going to hold that on top, and I'm going to cinch it down right behind the bead also. Okay, now once I get that cinched down, I'm going to trim this off again. I'm going to just tease out those legs. Try to get them straightened out a little bit, as you can see there. And uh, then we're going to whip finish this off. Okay. Now, 
that's all that's to it. The last thing we're going to do is add a wing case after we get this whip finished. The wing case is just going to protect that turkey by it, or sorry, turkey wing a little bit. And I'm going to show you a new product we just started carrying at the shop, which I really like. Okay, like I said, just tease and torment those little legs there until you get them where you like them. Like that. I like that. That looks good. And the last thing I'm going to use is some solar solar as UV. This is uh, medium viscosity. I really like this stuff. It's worked really nice for me so far. Everything I've tried it on works great for this, for wing cases. Um, I like the tube that it comes in. And it's just a nice... It's not runny, but it's not also real thick and hard. And it comes out of the tube nice. I know some of you buy the um, half gram tubes, which just keep flowing. And you don't like that. Well, this I don't have a problem with. So there, you just see, put a nice little hump on there. Hit it with the light. And that's it. So, great looking fly, 20 inch stone. All that's to it, it's not real hard, just takes a little bit of practice. Okay, you saw there, basically this is like a print sniff. Um, except using some different colors and some different materials, and of course not the buy it wings. But uh, very similar, and this one is intended to be a bigger fl stone fly. Uh, tied on a bigger hook, like you saw me do there. Uh, these 718s from Fireholes, I love them, I tie predominantly all my stonefly patterns on the 718 fire hole. It's just a great hook. And uh, these new fire hole beads are great with that matte color. I really like that matte black. It just blends into the body real well. So give those things a try and check them out on our website. You can find them at holesingersflyshop.com along with a lot of other stuff you need to tie this fly. Um, thanks again for watching everybody. I keep bringing these to you. It's Christmas time here at the shop. I hope you all are having a great holiday season. And uh, we just wish you the best of best of luck in this new year. And enjoy. I hope you enjoy tying flies and stuff like that. And, you know, can learn a lot from my videos. So, anyway, we're going to have some exciting news coming up here. Uh, stay tuned for that. And, like always, thanks for watching. And please take the time to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. That means a lot to us. So, until next time, I'm Sean Holsinger.